Hi, this is Frank Lugenheim with Integrity Marketing, and I'm here to go over Google Places and show you how you can get listed on the first page of Google in your local area. And the first thing we need to do is go to Google Places. And the first thing we have to do is fill in all these spots. And one of the things I'd like to show you first is a pie chart just showing how the different information that we will be inputting, how it weighs with Google. In other words, you can see email address is 5%, websites 10%, and all these various things. So how important it is to completely fill it out to get the heaviest weight as we can on Google. And you see 40% is just the required fields of company, Oregon Street, City, State, Zip, phone, so forth. So it's important that all of this gets done. And I tell you what I'm going to do is I have completed this. And my recommendation to you is to, is to put this information in a separate document rather than just filling it straight into Google. That way you've got it available. Uh, to use in other locations and we will be showing you at the conclusion of this other places where you can input this same information so I've got a word document saved down here that I'm just going to be cutting and pasting saving some time for this recording but also just so I have it for for using over and over again so basically what I'm going to do and and I'm going to put the name of the I'm doing this for my wife's hair salon business but I'm going to put more than just the name of the business I'm going to put a keyword in here so that it helps searching when people are looking for Fort Worth hair salon that not only will they find our name but that'll help in the search feature and then just uh, put in all the basic information street address so forth and so on and again it's just important that all this 40 percent of this 40% of the weight is just as basic information, so uh, it's just important to get this all in there. Zip. And I uh, see I have two websites down here, but I've gotten this forwarding website. So again, the Fort Worth Hair Salon is part of the URL. So again, that helps when searching for Fort Worth Hair Salons. I have a higher ranking. And this description field, as you can see down here, only has 200 characters. So again, that's the benefit of putting this in Word, Microsoft Word, because it does have a feature where you can go up to tools and do a word count and it will count the number of words in a document so obviously you need to be able to remove all the other text so that all you're doing is counting the words in your deal in your description and we'll cut that in there and then categories it's going to let us enter five and what it wants to do is once you start typing it's going to make suggestions and you need to use one of their suggestions if you have to use uh, different words to come up with something but the first one you need to use one of their suggestions after that you can add four more and they can be to your liking put Fort Worth again I'm trying to get that dominate that Fort Worth area and I may I may change my strategy a little bit once I get in there and see how things work as far as the search. The nice thing about this feature is it does let you edit. So once you, whatever you put in here isn't a forever deal. And so I'm going to take advantage of all five of those. And then we're going to go next. And uh, go 
down here and add this listing. And we're going to do the hours of she's closed on Mondays and she's closed on Wednesdays and she works until about 8 o'clock on Tuesdays and about 8 o'clock on Thursday and she is closed on Saturday and Sunday and then payment types you need to at least click one of these in here to get some of the waiting and then we're going to add a photo which again allows you to put all kinds of photos in there and they all weigh so we want to do that as much as possible so put a picture of her business card in there probably add pictures of her later but for the sake of time we won't get into all of that right now you can get a add a photo off the web so wherever you need to go get some free legal s images you need to do that and then I have already got my YouTube video here but you can just go into YouTube right here and select one if you don't have your own I would suggest going in there and finding one that's related to your business that uh, would again just gives you a higher ranking but it might help promote you something that would be a benefit so to see our little video is there and this is where it lets you put additional details so back in our description area we only had 200 words that we could put in our description but this allows you to go ahead and put in all those additional services things that you would want to say like my wife's got 25 years of experience so you can just you know again put anything in there that would be a benefit uh, they I think they're somewhat unlimited and I'm not going to take the time to put all these in here right now but you get the idea of just all the services that you can list and just again you're trying to get yourself ranked higher and and more competitive with those that are in the same type of business with you so the more services you can show the more benefit that they could see of them doing business with you it's just to your advantage to take advantage of all the different options that are available And that's all we're going to do. Again, you can see I've got quite a few that I'm going to come back and add later. But for the sake of this video, we'll just go ahead and submit this. And at this point, you can submit it one of two ways. If you do it by phone, you need to have and be where you can get to your phone because it's going to ring fairly quickly and it's going to give you a code that you need to input to verify that you are who you are the other option is to do it by a postcard it takes a couple weeks they send you a postcard and then you send it back to them and so forth and so on if one other option is if you don't have access to the phone number that they would call or is in their system you can put a phone number in when you're putting in the information initially that you do have access to as soon as that call is made and you get the code you can go back in and edit it and put it into the right phone number that it should be is one option if you don't have you know all that so again we're going to go ahead and do this finish and she should be set up on Google places and they will give me a call shortly just to confirm that and uh, I'm I hear the call so they did just call me and gave me my code and it's seven nine five one oh and go and so that's that